Rogue Valley Council of Governments is here at Bear Creek uh, as part of our education and outreach programs and we're working on behalf of the stormwater communities and our goal is to really educate people uh, about clean water and then also connecting kids with creeks. We want to get people aware of all the water quality issues surrounding Bear Creek watershed, how human impacts can affect the quality of the water in our streams and we hope by supporting teachers and getting their students out and by working directly with students we're able to impart some of that knowledge and appreciation for uh, Bear Creek. Being invited back to Salmon Watch is such a treat for my students because we are studying backyard biology and chemistry and having the opportunity to leave the classroom and work with resource people in the field is absolutely a treat. Some of these students have never had the opportunity to ever be in the field so for them it's really a cool opportunity and doing macroinvertebrates today tying right into our biology and chemistry unit for seventh grade science at Talent Middle School so thanks for having us. And you guys have been studying Bear Creek and salmon and water quality and all of this stuff for about a week now? Okay, Bear Creek has a source where it starts. Where is that? So if you followed it, if you started going upstream and you just kept swimming upstream farther and farther and farther, where do you go? Ashland. Ashland. This is called a D-net. You know why it's called a D-net? It looks like a D. It looks like a D. Okay, D-nets, again, not a shovel. You'll rip the bottom of the net and start the same shovel. It works best to go into the water, plant it down in the water, and then use your foot and just sort of rub against the ground right in front of the net. That pushes everything that's there into the net, and then scoop the net up like that to see what you found. Without a fish, there won't be a little fish. I had a fish a few weeks ago without a fish. We were learning about my microinvertebrates. Yes. Yeah. What I learned today was um, I found a mayfly in the river. We are here at the water quality testing station. And so we're going to be measuring different aspects of the stream here, okay? Uh, the, one of the things that we're going to measure it for is temperature. Why might we want to measure the water for temperature? Because I think she said because the salmon like cold water, not warm water. And we're going to be measuring for dissolved oxygen. How do fish breathe? They're gills, right? Humans, humans breathe the air. But what do they use their gills for? To breathe. They need to extract. They need to extract oxygen out of the water, right? I'm down here at Bear Creek learning about turbidity in the water. So today we've been learning about uh, photo points, which is where you take a picture of one area of vegetation and you check it a couple years later to see the differences. They have studies that show that by getting to the kids in the school programs, that's really one of the most effective ways to get the word out about how we need to care for our environment, what's going to work to help bring the salmon back, the kids really get an opportunity to do hands-on science. Um, we're working to incorporate the data that they collect into actual restoration, like what's going on here at the Nature Center today. And we're so happy to have this partnership with Salmon Watch and uh, the Rogue Valley Council of Governments. I really would like to thank everyone who participated in the program, the instructors, the coordinators, and also the school and the teachers that came out. Thank you very much.